Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to do a review of the PiCade, a home arcade system powered by the Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. So to get things started, the PiCade is a DIY arcade cabinet kit that you can purchase. It's made by Pi Maroni. A few weeks back, I did a video on the entire setup of the PiCade. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I highly recommend checking it out. The setup of the PiCade overall wasn't that difficult. However, it was pretty time consuming. There are a lot of pieces. So it roughly took around two to three hours, and that's probably what I would recommend setting aside in order to set it up. The kit itself comes with everything you see here. I'll leave a list in the description of this video as well with the parts that are included. There are also two different versions of the PiCade. One has an eight inch screen included, which is the model I have here for review. And there is also a cheaper model that is a bring your own screen. So there is no screen included. In terms of quality of the parts included within this package, I was actually really impressed. There's a lot of little areas where they could have cut corners here and it shows that they didn't. The buttons are nice. They have a nice arcade click to them. The stick itself is a zippy stick and it works very well. And for those of you who are wondering, it is a square gate. I like the overall aesthetics of the PiCade. I like the color use here on their buttons. I like the artwork that's under the buttons as well as on the top of the PiCade. To me, this is a really sleek, clean, and compact unit. It looks nice enough on its own and small enough on its own to be displayed on a shelf when it's not in use. And if you're wondering in terms of size, I'll just bring it up right here. And you can see that it's not too big. It's big enough that it's great as a one player unit. However, if you were trying to get two people on this machine, it might be a little tight. That being said, you can always plug a controller into it considering it is a Raspberry Pi. All you really have to do is plug a controller into one of the USB ports on the back of the PiCade. And if you're wondering what this is on the back, I tried to power it in different ways. So one of my favorite ways to power this PiCade is actually through a battery. You can power it completely wirelessly if you would like. You can power it through the wall if you'd like as well. The screen itself is really clear and bright. It does a great job of displaying the game, the colors, and the viewing angle is very, very nice. The sound can get pretty loud on this as well. However, if you are in a busy room of crowded people, the sound might get drowned out a little bit. However, there is a headphone jack in the side of this as well, so you can plug in a pair of headphones. One of the major pros of the PiCade is that it is completely customizable. So if you don't like the artwork, you can change it. If you don't like the buttons, you can change them. You can change them for Sanwa, you can change them for whatever you want. And if you don't even feel like powering this by a Raspberry Pi, you don't have to. You can actually power it by anything else out there that supports HDMI video and USB controls. In the back of the PiCade, there's a lot of space you can use for storing different things like wires or an extra controller or a pair of headphones, or even use it to your advantage if you plan on customizing it. To test this out, I used RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and it worked well. A couple areas that I may modify in the future. Uh, first and foremost, I wouldn't mind installing a light underneath the PiCade logo here. So there is space, I may put a little LED light to brighten up that PiCade when the Raspberry Pi powers on. And the second modification that I may make down the line uh, is to replace this screen here with a screen that's slightly larger. So it does come with the stock eight inch screen and you can replace it with, I believe it's up to a 12 inch screen, which would eliminate some of this empty space where I'm circling with the mouse. There are two versions of the PiCade. One has a screen and one does not. They are both available at pieshop.us if you're in the States. The unit with the screen you can purchase for $199.95. If you plan on bringing your own screen, it is $154.95. And I will note that does not include the Raspberry Pi, but it also is available on this website. They pretty much have everything you need here. If you're shopping in Canada, it's available at buypi.ca for $249.95 for the model with the screen. And if you want to bring your own screen, it's available for $199.95 Canadian. There were a bunch of reasons why I was interested in the PiCade. 
Uh, first and foremost, it was small enough that I could put it on a shelf. I don't have the space for a full arcade unit. Um, so this really fit the bill in that regard. On top of that, it can be powered by a Raspberry Pi. As you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm a massive fan of emulation. I'm a massive fan of the Raspberry Pi. And really this just made sense to me. It's completely customizable. You can customize almost anything at will. And one thing I really liked is that I didn't have to drill the pieces. I didn't have to measure and cut and buy supplies. It was all kind of there for me and I just had to assemble it. No soldering was required. It was a really simple setup for me. Uh, what could have been weeks to build was really reduced to a number of hours with this kit. So if you're anything like me, I would completely recommend the Picade. Uh, if you want to customize it a little bit more right off the bat, I would recommend the bring your own screen version and then slap in your own screen. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I also strongly advise, take a look at my setup video. You'll get a closer look at all the tiny parts in detail and how it's all put together. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.